Hi, I'm Nick Strawn from Athfield Architects, one of the design team members who are currently working on the preliminary phase of the Johnsonville Library project. Today, we're going to look in a little bit more detail of some of the interior spaces and functions of the library building. This is the link space, which serves to connect the eastern side of the site on Memorial Park all the way through to the western edge of the site on Moorfield Road. The intention here is that this should act as an urban pedestrian street or laneway and it really provides a civic scale connection between these two really important sides of the site. The intention is that this would be an active and occupied space and that could be made successful by the cafe working out into this zone with elements such as seating. It would be constructed from external durable materials and there would be a great level of natural daylight down into this zone. Fundamentally, it exists to provide a good connection both to the library and to the pool. So on the western side of the proposed building is the cafe and courtyard zone. So the intention here is that the cafe performs the function of a really important hinge point right on the corner of the library between the courtyard and the linking space. It's on a great western sunny side of the site and there's also the potential for shaded and sheltered pedestrian access through into the library beyond. There'd be cafe style seating that can work out into the link space or into the library reading room and ultimately this provides great flexibility of use for all manner of events. In its typical mode the cafe would be able to work out into the link space and out into the courtyard beyond. In a library event mode the cafe can serve as the catering point for a large scale library event. In an external event after hours mode the cafe again can serve a critical function for catering out to the external event space which can work out into the exterior courtyard. In the open day community event mode the exterior doors can be slid back to provide a good interior exterior connection between the library and the courtyard beyond. We're looking at the main library entry from the upper ground level link. Our concept here was to think about this as a clearing a space with high ceiling and clear story windows that had dappled natural light and the use of large format timber trunk columns and along the edge of this a reading space which served as a raised edge for looking out and over down into the lower level of the library. We're looking at the children's terraced area at the southern end of the building. The intention here was that this would be a learning landscape a zone with a sense of play and discovery. There would be a lower acoustic ceiling over this area and that would be complemented by these raised stages and terraces that would enable looking and views out to the exterior. And this provides multiple gathering and performance zones. We're now looking at the escarpment. This serves as an in-between space. It really forms an intermediate terrace between the upper and lower levels of the library. It has a lowered acoustic ceiling and is a great lookout point for views around and through the rest of the library. It's a loosely defined zone and it could be used by young adults. This is the makerspace and meeting zone, which we have often referred to as the cave. We believe that here it's about a sense of discovery and enclosure. There's great acoustic separation between here and the rest of the library. A space that will serve for both high-tech and low-tech creation and wet and dry media. This is the lower terrace. The intention here is that it's an extension of the concept of a clearing in the forest, a space with high ceilings and clear story windows and again dappled natural light coming in from above. There's a continued use of the timber trunk columns and it provides a sheltered active edge structure primarily constructed in timber. So we hope this has helped to explain a little more about the interior function and spaces of the library building.